Welcome to my channel. Holy crap, I have a YouTube channel. This is crazy. If you haven't subscribed yet, take a second and pause this video and hit the subscribe button. In this video, I'm showing you how I took a beat up old chicken coop from this to this. Okay, so we were gifted this chicken coop and when I first saw it, I was like, oh hell yes, I can totally make this into something rad. The bones of it were great, but it definitely needed some love. I knew with a little bit of elbow grease, some minor repairs, a little bit of paint, and some new hardware, this thing was going to look badass when I was done with it. The first step was demo. I needed to take this whole thing apart and get rid of all the crap on it. I started by taking out the staples and then realized this was going to be a lengthy and stupid process, so I pounded them in instead. Next, I had to clean it, and I mean really clean it. This thing had definitely been used and abused and was super disgusting. I love her. Next, I had to power wash the heck out of it and then let it dry really, really well in the sun for a day or two. So here it is, all disassembled, clean, and ready for paint. I was really excited about this next part. I went on Pinterest and I searched for black house with wood accents. A ton of inspiration popped up. I loved it. I chose bare marquee in the color carbon and it was totally the look I was going for. I spent the rest of the day painting and realized that having the inside not painted was totally going to drive me nuts. Even though once it was all assembled again, no one was going to see the inside. I was going to see it. So, I grabbed some flat black spray paint from Rust-Oleum and finished painting the inside. Happy. The other part about this project that I was really excited for was making the sign for the coop. We went with the coop for hours, but let's just pause and appreciate all of the funny options there are when naming a chicken coop. That is some funny stuff. Here's all the supplies I needed to make the sign. Pretty standard sign making stuff, eh? But the one little wild card here is the 3D printed letters. Yes, I could have purchased plastic or metal letters, but it's so much more fun to create them. We drew them up in a program called SolidWorks. I got to choose the font and the size and all that stuff, and then we printed them on this Ultimaker. It only took a few hours for them to print, and I just think it's so cool. The next thing I did was prep all the wood pieces for the sign. I cut out a 10 by 14 piece of scrap wood and all four sides of the frame around it. I went with mitered corners just to sleek it up a bit. Here's how I measure and cut a mitered corner. I measure the length of the frame side, draw a line, and then rotate the wood towards me and draw the 45 degree angle I'm going to cut just so that I have a visual and don't screw it up when I go to cut it. The 45 degree angles on the frame should always be pointing outward, like this. I gave everything a quick sand, just to smooth things out a bit, and then I put it all together, making sure it fit properly. And then I just got about assembling each side, one by one, using glue and a brad nailer. I had a fan on me in the garage, because it is freaking hot in Utah right now, guys. Okay, so this happens nearly every time I do a mitered corner because I am so not the expert on this stuff and I haven't taken time to perfect it, but an easy fix for a gap in a mitered corner is just a little bit of wood filler and some sanding. I'm going for rustic, it's fine. Okay, so the next thing I had to do was stain and seal the sign. I use Minwax oil-based stain in Early American. I use this color for so many different projects. It's definitely one of my favorites. I slapped that stuff all over with a brush, wiped off the excess, and ta-da, it's pretty. To place the letters on the sign, I first found the center point of the frame and just drew a line for reference. I basically just eyeballed where the letters needed to go and I did not get too crazy precise about this part. I used Gorilla Glue and put the tiniest little dab of glue on each of the back tabs and then placed them down where I wanted them. I let it dry for 24 hours and it was totally solid. This glue is insane, it's super awesome stuff. 
Once everything was totally dry, I cleaned the frame and letters off with some tack cloth, and then I coated it with two or three coats of spar urethane, and that was it. Voila, I love it. Okay, so on to reassembling the coupe. I got all new hardware in this brassy gold color because I felt like it went with the aesthetic just a bit better. The screws that the hinges came with were way too long, so I opted for these half inch screws instead. Perfect. I reattached the doors, the latches, and then I hurried and stained the coupe run door to match the sign and get that wood accent vibe I was looking for. Yeah! Now for the roof. Admittedly, I haven't done any work on a roof for over a decade, so this was actually kind of fun for a minute. At this point in the project, I was getting really burned out and just wanted a magical little fairy to come and finish the coupe for me. Ugh. But I kept going and after a few rainy days, I finished the roof with some help and just was so freaking glad to get it done. We headed to the farm store to get all the supplies we need to keep some chickens alive. Ask me how long I sat there staring at chicken clothes. Overalls for chickens. <laughs> so cute. I opted to let my chickens be nudists. Next, it was time to prep the yard, and truth be told, I did none of this. Like, nada. I straight up was a lazy butt and made everyone else do all the lifting, weed pulling, ground leveling to prep for the coop's arrival. I did, however, add the sign as ceremoniously as I could. So happy. We spray painted the feeders from red to black, added hay for the ladies, filled up the feeders, and made sure everything was ready for the hen's arrival to their new home. Time for chickens. Luckily, we got some adorably social birds, and I feel like I have six new best friends. I absolutely love going out and just sitting by them and watching them do weird chicken things, like kick the dirt and peck at each other. Wait for it. So rude. The coop is done, guys. Here's the big reveal. Ta-da! You'll see a few extra details I added, like the shelf on the garage wall, the succulents, the deer antlers, the fence, and a super sweet automatic door for the girls. I really love how everything turned out. Chickens are happy, I'm happy, everybody's happy, yay! I appreciate you taking the time to watch my first official YouTube video. I plan on posting a new video every single Sunday, and I hope you'll come back and peek at my next project. It's a good one. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Hey, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Do it. Do it.